guys? It is day two out here in Colorado. We're here at Twin Pine Motorsports here in South Fork. That's where we got our side-by-side -side rentals from. Uh, picked them up on Thursday evening and this is Saturday morning. Anyway, we had to bring them by. For one thing, um, I don't know if you, if you guys ever come out here, the gas quality in the mountains isn't great. I don't know why that is, but I've actually had gotten water in the fuel before getting gas out here. Um, I don't know, maybe it has to do with the altitude. But anyway, uh, we found out the check engine light that came on uh, one of the side-by-sides was due to some bad fuel. So we came over here, he put some, he filled it up with their, uh, their best quality gas and put some octane booster in there. And uh, he checked, rode it around for a bit and it cleared the code, so we're good to go. So we're getting ready to head out from here, go over to the staging area to go up to Wheeler Geologic Area, which uh, we were up there in 2020 and I did a video then. This time it'll be a bit different, taking the side-by-sides instead of four-wheelers, so. I've got the drone. I, I did drone footage there uh, four years ago when we were there. But there were some things after I reviewed my footage that I wish I'd done. So I'm going to try and do those this time. But anyway, um, we're getting, getting packed up, getting ready to head out over to the staging area. So we'll see you there. gap at the staging area to go up to Wheeler. We just got the side-by-sides taken off the trailer and uh, getting ready to head up there. We're going to go up to Hanson's Mill and then probably stop and uh, trade out drivers or whatever. Maybe uh, go to the restroom one last time before we hit the off-road portion of the trail. But yep, everybody's got all their gear loaded and about to hit the trail. Two cars. Okay, we're good over here. After this one goes, you're to Hanson's Mill where uh, it's kind of the last stop uh, area with a bathroom before we hit the actual four-wheel drive portion of the trail so stretching our legs one last time we might change drivers I don't know we'll see how it goes but uh, yeah about to hit the 
off-road part of the trail. So I showed this last time we were here in 2020, but you know, it never hurts to go over it again, right? So obviously you see the, you are here. That's where we are right now. And so when you see the dashed lines, that's a hiking trail. And then over here, the 600, that's the trail we're gonna be going on. So it goes out over here and goes around up to the Wheeler Geologic area. This square right here is the protected area where no vehicles are allowed. So that's why it's got dashed lines all the way around. So we got a hike in there and it's a one mile. So you can stop right here with your vehicles and it's one mile to hike to the area that we want to see. trailhead the hiking portion it's the wilderness area by Wheeler the guys got a head start they're heading on up there these are the little things you can read about the area so now this is where we're going here so let's hit the trail all right well it is 11 something o'clock so we made we made good time. We left uh, around 10 o'clock uh, from the staging area. Actually a little after 10, so. We made it here in about an hour and 20 minutes, something like that. Anyway, like I said, the guys went, in, went on ahead of me so I could stay back and do video stuff for you guys. But we'll, uh, we'll be right behind them. So yeah, uh, for anyone who comes here, when you unload at this area where the wilderness boundary is, it's about a one mile hike to the main attraction, the viewing area of Wheeler Geologic Area. Growing up in my family, you know, we've been coming here a long time. And I think it was before they had a lot of the signage up here. We would just call it Wheeler or Wheeler Monument because it's kind of, when you look at it, it's kind of like a monument. Uh, but it's not man-made, it's God-made. So, super cool. I'm gonna go downhill. Feel free to laugh at me if I slip and fall. It's kind of this slick gravel here. But, we got some younger guys with us this time, so they're probably just walking on up this like it's nothing. We're over 11,000 feet right now. So, the altitude can definitely get to you. But man, the weather is so nice right now. I'm actually probably gonna have to worry about getting sunburned on the back of my neck. We had some cloud cover, which you'd be able to see in the GoPro videos. But uh, now the sun's out, so now that we're not protected by the top on the side by side, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna turn out to be a redneck. You can kind of see right now, I got some on me yesterday. Just you're a lot closer to the sun. So, it definitely has an effect.
I want to watch that. There is a trail up there. Yeah. Is there? Yeah. You should do a flyby with us like you did yesterday. Not yet. I've been doing the really high stuff. Probably. Yeah. I'm trying to find us so I can get it back down here. I'm up really high and I lost track of where we are. There it is. Finally where I can see it again. <laughs> 